Questions for Jalen? Start with Gary Washburn. Hey, Jalen. Um, it just seemed like you had the, the whole bag going tonight. Did you feel any differently going into the game? Um, how healthy are you? It seems like the knee is responding fine. It just seemed like it was a night that you just couldn't miss. And even you took a half court heave going, and you were 13 for 14. You got to get prop, you know, I mean, much respect for that because most guys were, were way to the buzzer sounded and men released it. Uh, can you just kind of talk about your, your night? Uh, just wanted to come out and be aggressive. You know, Celtics Lakers matchup is a, is a matchup that, you know, kids dream about being over the, on the floor. So um, regardless of who's on the court, I'm excited to play. You know, that energy, having those Lakers fans back in the, in the arena, um, we just wanted to come out and get a win. Rachel Nichols. Hey, Jalen. Nice win. Congratulations. Um, what does it feel like for you guys when the ball is moving like that? I know that that's something Brad's really emphasized in the last few weeks. And what do you do personally to sort of add to that? Uh, just play, just play basketball, play the right way. Um, you know, teams are doubling and blitzing. Got to get the ball out of our hands quick and, and trust everybody on the floor to make plays. And, um, we're just getting some more rhythm. Guys have been out, uh, guys have had COVID all year. And this is the most consistency we've had. So, you know, being able to play with guys on the floor every single night, you start to, uh, to build more chemistry. Thank you. Matt Vitor. Jalen, you spoke so passionately Tuesday night about topics that are more important than basketball. And tonight you were so dialed in basketball wise for two things that you're so committed to and so passionate about it. Is it hard to compartmentalize them and to, to, to be effective in both areas of your life with, with, with so much that would it take so much to, to be committed to both? I don't think so. Uh, and even if it is, I don't look at it as, as that. I look at it as, you know, a responsibility. I look at it as, you know, a person with influence who believes firmly in, 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 in the things that, you know, I talk about. So it comes second nature, uh, to be honest. I'm a, I'm a basketball player, yes, but I'm also a black man. I'm also, you know, a son. I'm also a brother. I'm all of these things at the same time. So uh, it's not like I got to separate the two. I'm all in one. Keith Smith. Jalen, at the end of the game, uh, you had Kemba and Tristan Thompson coming over and you guys were uh, doing some celebrating and the like. What what have those two guys meant to you this year and to the team? Great guys, man. Two, two great teammates. Kemba, you know, always smiling. You know what I mean? Uh, his, his, his energy speaks for itself. You know, he comes out every single night, um, regardless of, you know, whatever. And he just, he gives us, he gives us his, his all. Um, and he smiles the whole time. Um, Tristan, you know, just a great teammate overall. You know, always somebody you can talk to, always somebody that will pick you up. You know, he, he does all the dirty work, never really complains too much. Just, you know, two great guys on and off the court. I appreciate both of those guys. David Ginalato. Hey, Jalen. Uh, speaking about your season, uh, what do you think has helped you to grow even more uh, compared to the previous years? Uh, just a, a, a elevated responsibility, I think. I think uh, I have more of a, a role for to, uh, to play make and, and, and things that I've had ever. So I think that is a big piece, but also, you know, just studying and watching the game and getting better and improving. That's what I'm about. We'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, Chandler. Thank you.